In this video, we're going to create code in Google Apps Script that will hide rows on your spreadsheet based on the background shading color. So what you see here is a preview of what we're going to create today. I have a balance sheet with main header categories here and then below each header category I have details that make up that main category total and those details are shaded in yellow and I have a button here that will execute a script to hide all the rows that are shaded yellow so when I run this it will automatically hide everything with yellow shade I have a second button here to unhide those rows and what's great about this is if I want to make certain rows visible I can simply go to reset the shading and now this operating account that was previously hidden will now be visible if I want to put that back as part of the hidden rows I can just add that particular shade of yellow back to it and it is once again hidden so the first thing we want to do is go up to extensions and then app script to go into the script editor this try the new editor box will appear I still like the old one so I'm gonna click out of that we're gonna name our project hide rows by color I'm gonna copy this click OK and we're gonna call our function the same thing so we're gonna begin by declaring some variables first one's gonna be called SS represents the spreadsheet we're in now so this is gonna be equal to the spreadsheet application and then get active spreadsheet for the one we're in now we're gonna have another variable called sheet and that is going to be equal to our spreadsheet variable and then we want to get sheet by name and we want to get the sheet we're currently on which is called balance sheet all one word so that needs to be enclosed in double quotes now the first thing we need to do here is find the code for this particular shade of yellow I had used this main shade of yellow for the cells that we eventually want to hide so to get this code we're gonna refer to any cell that contains this color shading so we'll call this variable color and this is gonna be equal to our sheet variable get range we'll use a1 notation cell a4 had yellow shade so we'll use that and then we want to get background singular and it will store the code for that background color in this variable and what we're gonna do is log this variable so we can get that particular code because we're gonna need this when we write the script so I'll hit save we'll run we'll have to authorize this I'll go to review permissions click on the Google account we're using go to advanced scroll down click on the project we're working in scroll down one more time click allow so it ran it now we'll go to our logs and there is our code for that shade of yellow so I'm gonna copy this because we need that and we're done with this variable we no longer need that so what we want to create now is a variable called last row because we eventually want to perform a for loop and run through all these cells in our first column to check and see what the background color is all the way down to our last row containing values so we're going to create a variable called last row that is going to be equal to 
our sheet variable and then get last row. That will return the last row as a number. We're going to have a variable called array and this is also going to be equal to our sheet variable. We want to get range. We're going to use the second option here. We have a beginning row which is row 1. We're going to look in column A for the background shadings for each row and then the number of rows we want to go down is all the way down to our last row variable. And after that what we want to do is get the backgrounds plural and what this does is creates an array of background codes code values for all of the cells in this get range method. So now what we want to do is perform a for loop to check and see if the background color code in our array is equal to that particular shade of yellow and then hide the row if that is the case. So for loop begins with the keyword for and then we define a counter variable which this counter variable needs to begin at zero because we're looping through this array here and arrays in Google Apps Script start at a value of zero so the first element would actually be equal to zero. Now Next, we define how long we want this loop to run for. Well, we know we want it to run at least until our last row variable. So we're going to make our condition here so that our counter variable, our loop will keep running until our counter variable is at least equal to our last row variable. And then finally, we define how we want to increment. Well, we want to increment in values of 1. So we're going to reference our counter variable and then plus plus. So now we have what we want to do while our loop is running. Well, we want to perform a test. And to perform a test, we need to use an if statement. So we have an if condition. And we want to check each element in our array. So we're going to reference our array variable and then in a set of brackets we want to loop through each individual item in our array. So we're going to reference our counter. So it will begin at zero. Look at the first element that's a value of zero. And then what do we want to do? We want to see if this is equal to our color code value for that yellow shade. If that condition is met, what we want to do is with our sheet variable, we want to hide the rows and we want to reference the row index number. We're going to use our counter variable but remember that that counter variable starts at zero so our rows in our actual sheet start at one obviously. So we need to add a value of one to that so that we get this to the proper row number. So this should be everything we need here. So I'm going to hit save here. You can see currently we have all these rows of our detail values that are shaded in yellow. So I'm going to hit run. And you can see now everything is hidden that was 
previously shaded in yellow. So now we want to create a second function to unhide all of these rows that are hidden. So the code for this is going to be a lot simpler. So we'll add a new function down here. We'll just call this unhide rows. And we're going to have the same variables we had up here for our spreadsheet and sheet. And we're going to create another variable called all rows. And this is going to be equal to our sheet variable. And then we want to get range A1 notation. And we want to get all of column A because this will essentially be a collection of rows in column A and then with our sheet variable we want to unhide row and reference our all rows variable here so hit save here and everything that is currently hidden should be unhidden once we run this unhide rows script. And there it is. So the final thing I want to do is add some buttons up top here to assign our scripts to. So I'm going to go to insert and drawing. I'm going to insert a rectangle here. I'll double click in it to give it a text description. So we'll say hide rows. Hit save and close. Where is it? Went way down there. So we'll bring it up here. I'm going to add one more. So I'll go up to insert drawing again. We'll add a, another rectangle here. Call this unhide rows. Save and close. We'll assign this first one our first script called Hide Rows by Color. So I'll copy that script name, go up here. Want to assign a script value. We'll put our script name in there. And then we want to do the same thing for our second script. So now I should be able to click on this and this will hide our rows. If I want to unhide them, I can click this second button and there it is. If I want to exclude a certain row from being hidden, I can simply hit the reset button for the shading. And now when I click hide rows, this operating account should still be visible and it is. If I want it back the way it was, all I need to do is add this particular shade of yellow and it is once again hidden. Well that is all for now. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe.